Tuesday, October 16th, the president called me in in the morning, told me that uh, U-2 planes, a relatively new development, uh, masterminded by the CIA, which gets blamed for a lot of bad things in our history, but the very official at the CIA who masterminded Kennedy's fiasco at the Bay of Pigs was also the mastermind of that plane, which could take pictures from 50,000 feet up. And the photo interpreters, geniuses at the CIA, had taken, uh, had interpreted the photos that came from the previous, uh, just a couple days earlier, a flight over Cuba, the beginnings of just scratches in the ground, as far as uh, we could tell, uh, the amateur I could tell, the beginnings of Soviet nuclear missile sites. And said the president, uh, that, uh, that couldn't uh, simply be accepted, so he was calling a meeting. Not a meeting of the National Security Council, which had, when they all, everybody wants to be a, attend an NSC meeting, as a matter of status in Washington, and prove their status, they have to bring an assistant. The assistant has to bring a deputy, and it's way too big a meeting for Kennedy to make a, a kind of crisp clean decision he knew was needed and liked to make, and way too big to keep a secret. And he wanted to keep a secret because he thought, as long as the Soviets don't know, we know, we can have some time to formulate a response without their taking some preemptive act. So he asked me to attend the meeting, and at that first meeting, he wanted to know every option possible. So different from the invasion of Iraq, which was decided without examining any other options. And Kennedy wanted to know what were the options, military options, diplomatic options, combined military diplomatic options, and what were the pros and cons of each one of them. And uh, I won't repeat uh, everything that's in the book. There have been lots of books about the Cuban Missile Crisis. Some of them have even been fairly accurate. <laughs> and uh, we uh, haggled uh, around that table almost day and night until um, finally uh, on Saturday we called the president back from a political trip. And by the way, why was he on a political trip? Because he insisted that all of us keep to our schedules, keep to our commitments. Don't suddenly have a lot of cancellations and don't have a lot of limousines piled up in the driveways around the White House. I don't want the press or anyone else to know there's a crisis meeting going on. He came back. We had a very dramatic uh, meeting. He had a draft speech uh, from me, which ultimately was revised uh, 11 or 12 times more than any other speech uh, I worked on with him, for him, and on the night of uh, October 22nd, just, this started on the 16th, on the night of the 22nd, he went on nationwide television and announced to the country and the world that we had discovered uh, these uh, Soviet <coughs> nuclear missiles and that we, and, uh, pro uh, and what our response would be. 